Ready? That's the only reason to go there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Maybe it's a little better for you. Uh, yeah, ah, yeah, that's, the best. that's great. great. Thank you, Mante. Yeah. You're the best. Two reasons. Okay. Good evening and good morning. Now we can start our evening session. To chant Metta Sutta, you all can join with us. May all beings be happy and secure. May all, all beings, beings have, have happy minds. minds. Whatever, Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, exception weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere, neither from anger nor ill will, should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world the heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment, whether standing, walking, or sitting, lying down, or when awake. One should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed vision, removing desire for sensual pleasures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Now, <clears throat> we can start to practice. Before start our meditation, Better to relax mentally and physically. To relax, take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly. Be relaxed. Again, take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly. Be relaxed. Your mind is relaxing, also your body. Enjoy this relaxation. It's very calm, quiet, peaceful. Determine yourself. This is not the time to pay attention. Past experiences or memories also future plans. This is my meditation time. Keep this message thoroughly in your mind. Develop your courage and determination to practice meditation. Breathe in, breathe out. You are relaxing. Cut off whole world. Come to this moment. Having comfortable seats. Relaxing your mind. Be ready for meditation. Image your own picture in your mind. Imagine your own picture in your mind. You can move head to toes through your mind. 
moving your mind head to toes generate loving friendliness thoughts toward to yourself toward to yourself generating loving friendliness thoughts may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful you can move into next step as i am my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on earth may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on earth may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on earth may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in this galaxy may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in this galaxy may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in this galaxy may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in the universe may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in the universe may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in the universe may they be well happy and peaceful All living 
beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on the earth, on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbours be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbours be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well. Happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this meta development, let's focus to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. In mindfulness breathing meditation, we pay full attention to our inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in, breathe out. Just pay attention on your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. When you are breathing, when you are breathing in, you feel your lungs are filling with air. Your abdominal area rising and ar rising and falling. Air might be touching end of your nostril or upper lips. Any of these places. When you familiar to these places, select one place and keep there your mind. Keeping your mind there, you can watch your breath. Inhalation and ex exhalation.
Sometime we take short breath, sometime we take long breath. Sometime we exhale short breath, sometime we exhale long short breath. Be aware whether it is short breath or long breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Watch your natural breath. You're not supposed to breathe in and out intentionally. Be aware with your natural breath. You can see starting up your breath, changing up your breath, departing up your breath. All these steps, through all these steps, we can see impermanent of your breath. Your life completely depending on your breath. In this life, we can see, through this life you can see how much you are suffering. Your whole body depending on your breath. This body does not have any ownership for you. In this manner you can see three characters of natural law. impermanent suffering and selflessness breathe in breathe out your mind getting calm you can focus very much to your breath inhalation and exhalation you feel all your breath inhalation and exhalation when your mind is calm and quiet you can see all the stages of your breath. Take your time and practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Whenever you notice mind it's out of the objects come back and start again. Breathe in, breathe out.
दुख पता दुख भया पता भया शोक पता शोक हंतु सबे पी May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you very much. And we can start our QA session. First question. I feel that I need to stand up and speak up for those who have no voice. But how do I develop a peaceful mind. It seems that my mind is not that developed and when I get involved in political activi activism, even in small ways, my mind is disturbed. Okay. Okay. The first thing is uh, we ready to talk on behalf of others. We read we ready to go forward on behalf of others, benefits for others. This is it's I mean look like it seems directly come through compassion and Directly, it's connect with love and friendliness. This is the way how we can recognize it. But according to Buddhism, even this body not belongs to me. I don't have any ownership for this body. I can't control anything in this body. What I what, what it's happening to my body. I don't have any ownership for my body, then how I can speak on behalf of others, benefits for them who don't have particularly voice. But you have a very compassionate mind, so you're ready to come, go forward on behalf of them. But unfortunately, we don't have any authority to control even ourselves. So how we can, how we can change others' mind? How we can change others? Buddha's lifestyle is very important we can take Buddha as a role model for our life. There was an incident two group of people who were relatives of the Buddha getting ready for war. There was a Incident uh, river, I mean, because of the water, they had a river, that river water, they wanted to divide it into two groups and then those two groups belongs to his clan, his family, relatives. Because of that reason, because of that water became a reason to start a war among Sakyans. 
they or already declare war Buddha wanted to stop it he went that place where they're going to have war and sit down calmly and quietly under a tree sitting under a tree when Buddha was sitting under a tree people who ready to start a war so the buddha and then they went to the went to see the buddha and then they started to have some discussions i mean something with some discussions with buddha and then he gave him a few words to think about themselves there is a simile one person came to buddha and asked why you are under a tree which don't have leaves L sitting under this tree you may not have any seed why you are sitting under this tree then buddha address and then buddha said to them my life also becoming like this my relatives going to start a war there no one ready to follow my guidance it seems they're going to destroy their self so this tree does not have any leaves same as my relatives doesn't have any help for me following my guidance then somehow after this conversation they stop the war they stop war there were so many incidents we can see through the buddha's life story he just saw us a path as a role model there are so many qualities that we can see through his life better to apply all these qualities step by step as much as you can and we can give this leadership to this society given this leadership we can we might have opportunity to change in some some degrees there is no way to complete whole society but in some degrees there were some kings who, during the buddha's time who were very uh, un-Buddhistic rulers who follow un-Buddhistic traditions to rule their country, but Buddha introduced them to apply Buddhist method, explaining them Dasa Raja Dharma, Dasa Sakviti Vat, all these are the political views what Buddha had and explain to their king uh, those kings to apply those methods to their ruling system in this manner Buddha involved some political issues during those days but there's a word that Buddha used Anujana me bikkave rajana anuvattitu. Buddha never used his leadership to control any kingdoms, to influence, to make new rules or do some particular things. Because Buddha said the political uh, politicians have different agenda let them to follow their agenda 
because we have different agenda for our own liberation. We have to apply that agenda for our life. This is the way how Buddha manage those kind of things. And there was another incident when Buddha was dwelling in Udena, uh, name of the city Udeni, Udenapura. That time, with the influence of king and the queen, some people start to do some, uh, to start to do some harmful things to Buddha. They bother to the Buddha. Then Bhante Ananda came to the Buddha and then asked why Bhante we are not changing, we are not going to any other city rather than this city. These people are not welcoming well us. These people are not treating well us. Living in this city, it's, it seems kind, it seems it's, it is a dangerous. So better to go another city. What was the Buddha's answer for that? The Buddha said, Ananda, changing place is not the solution for the matters. When we go to that place, if there are people also act in the same way, then we have to go to another place. So, changing place is not a solution for our matter. Matter are arising through our, all the matters are arising through our defilements. Therefore, better to give a solution for our defilements. People are ignorance. According to their mental capacity, they work on, on their capacity. Which way we argue with them, how we debate with them to defeat them, but they they ready to do whatever they wanted to do. This is the nature of particularly politicians and rulers, governors. So, if we can influence them through our practice, that's the best thing. That's the best thing that we can do. We can use example. Buddha, the Buddha lived in 2600 years ago. Therefore, sometimes when we try to give some information through his life story, someone might think, oh, it, oh he lived in 2600 years ago. Those techniques are not suitable for this modern 21st century. So we can use some other leaders who lived in this world recently, like Mahatma Gandhi and also uh, the leader who was in Africa. Uh, all these peoples give us some lessons how we can manipulate the leaders in the world, how we can uh, speak on behalf of others, benefits for others. Uh, calmness and quietness is very important. Making arguments and doing something against is not good things, healthy things for our life, particularly in this modern society. So be patient, develop your insight, develop your compassion, develop your courage and determinations, and developing all these qualities led by this society with qualities. These qualities, when you are living with these qualities, then we have opportunity to change others' mind, others' thoughts. 
this is the uh, best way to maintain your behavior as a Buddhist follower, as a Buddhist follower, because as a Buddhist follower also have to live in this modern society with other troubles and matters. So, as a Buddhist follower, how we can use Buddhism into our day-to-day -day life? This is the way how we can uh, live according to Buddhism without involving unwholesome activities. Just focus to develop your, your, yourself, your insight, developing your insight. Yes, you can lead this society, benefits for all living beings. Also, you can change the society with the power of your mind, with the power of your mind, which is, which is the best way that we can apply. And uh, also, I would like to mention another Jataka story, how we can use our mind to find best solution for our matters best solution not not good solution best the best the best solution there was uh, two merchants who lived in same city uh, both are in, engaging with same businesses and then both are going city by city to city and before start their journey the elder person send a message to the younger one asking who is going first and then the younger one thinking of the benefits uh, going first and then he said he sent a message to the elder one i like to go first why he decided so because he thought so if i'm going first i can get more benefits than him my uh, crew have crew might have get wonderful opportunities to find their foods and also i can use uh, good roads and i can find some places to rest ourselves good places and we may have wonderful opportunity to find our food and drinks in this manner he saw some benefits going first and then when he sent a message to the elderly one then the elderly one is start to think okay that's good when he going first then he ready to uh, use all these things he ready to consume all these benefits on the on the way to that city and when i'm going a little bit later maybe two weeks three weeks later I also have same opportunities, same as him, because when he moving before, uh, he is going before me. When he use, when he consume all these facilities, uh, whatever the things they can, they have, they can get through the uh, from the environments, and the nature of environments is is ready to produce produce many things again. Then I can go there. I can take those things. Not only that, if he, when he go there, when he start to sell things, he might sell uh, using high prices for those things. When I'm going there without uh, putting any effort or advertisement, using an advertisement or anything, I can sell my goods also same price how he increase. This is the way that elderly person compare benefits with others then the young one also compare benefits with others and then finally they both particularly that elder one was able to give get a solution without having any arguments or any fights or any conflict with that young one in this manner following rules and regulations developing our mind developing and developing our mind yes we can find a best solution the best solution for our matters so around the world there are so many matters and problems 
so many violations and things happening better to protect ourselves without developing our angry thoughts to them uh, as much as we can let's develop our metta and compassion developing our metta and compassion living with that metta and compassion let's try to be a role model for the world this is the best thing for that we can do as buddhist follower uh, today that's the only question that we have we don't have any other question i would like to go through girmananda sutta again yesterday i started to read some par uh, a paragraph but i'd like to complete uh, whole things about practicing mindfulness of breathing meditation which is very important uh, because i uh, i remember there was some question before uh, how we practice how we develop our mindfulness on our breath uh, uh, so many questions was there so i would like to uh, 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 give some help through this uh, girimananda sutta as we discuss uh, yesterday in first paragraph which mentioning uh, breathing in a long breath he knows i am breathing long breath when he is breathing out long breath he knows i am breathing out a long breath i mean when you start to practice breathing meditation when it's calm and quiet you can feel your whole breath and having that experience in you you note you can notice you can aware of whether it is short breath or long breath that awareness develop through your uh, uh, through your experiences through your uh, i mean when you start to focus it focus in and focus in and focus in when you come to very deep level that is the time you can see you can feel it you can notice it oh this is uh, i'm i'm breathing in long breath breathing in short breath it's with your natural breath it's not uh, you are not uh, inhaling and exhaling intentionally with your natural breath sometimes it's happening we take short breath long breath the first as a first step you, you can see that and then calm in the entire process i shall breathe in thus he trains himself calm in entire process entire process starting point changing and departing of your breath in this manner we can train we can train to keep your mind yourself experience him rapture i shall breathe in thus he train himself experience in rapture i shall breathe out thus he train himself breathe in and out is the most important activities it's happening with our breath then focus into that uh, we can experience rapture experience him bliss i shall breathe in thus he train himself experience in bliss i shall breathe out thus he train himself experience in mental formation feeling and perception i shall breathe in thus he trains himself experience in the mental formation i shall breathe out thus he train himself calm in mental formation i shall breathe i shall breathe in thus he train himself calm in the mental formation i shall breathe out thus he train himself experience in the mind according to the uh, four fall absorption or jhanas i shall breathe in thus he train himself experience in the mind i shall breathe out thus he train himself uh, there was a question 
someone had uh, someone had that question before uh, he he asked from us uh, when i mean some sometimes they may not able to notice their breath inhalation and exhalation uh, i was giving an answer for them as it is a nature but i would like to add something when you attain fourth jhana then you don't feel your breath you don't feel your inhalation and exhalation until that you feel it but you don't know you you may not be able to notice if your mind is not uh, calm enough if not uh, well experienced then you think okay my i don't feel my breath in and out but we have to be careful carefully pay full attention to our breath uh, to see breath in and out exceedingly gladdenly the mind samatha and kamin as well as by vipassana insight i shall breathe in the sea train himself exceedingly gladdenly the mind i shall breathe out thus he train himself concentrating the mind on breath i shall breathe in the sea train himself concent concentrating the mind i shall breathe out the he trains himself and then finally we can come to liberate the liberating the mind from nirvana or uh, all the hindrances i shall breathe in i shall uh, 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 thus he trains himself breathe the mind breathing liberating the mind i shall breathe out uh, thus he train himself contemplating impermanent in permanent body feeling perception volitional formation consciousness in this manner we can develop our uh, breathing meditation breathing practice uh, using our breath we can develop our mind in this manner so breathing meditation we can driving into pure directions Uh, you can uh, practice as a samatha meditation also you can practice as a vipassana meditation um, because uh, breathing meditation is one of platform uh, even buddha when he was attaining enlightenment he practiced breathing meditation once there was a uh, there was group of monk was asking from bante ananda Uh, when Buddha have a leisure time, what he he does, and then uh, Bante Ananda didn't have an answer for that. Then he directly went to the Buddha and then asked from the Buddha, Bante, when you are free, what do you do? And then directly Buddha, the Buddha answer to answer to the uh, Bante Ananda, I just watch my breath. i just watch my breath it's mean even though when he attain enlightenment after that when he has when he have a time lesser time he use he used to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation it seems uh, mindfulness breathing meditation covered everything vipassana and samatha both so this is the this meditation technique is wonderful do wonderful way that we can develop our insight we have to keep this um, open this door to ourselves to develop our insight so i would like to uh, encourage you to read this sutta and follow in that guidance we can enhance our uh, uh, practice I, i we can develop our practice uh i think time is running not running actually time is flying and uh, then we have to stop uh, uh, session uh, today now it is time to share uh, merits uh,
uh, practice in meditation and uh, <laughs> join in with us for these discussions. We have we got opportunity to develop our insight. Uh, we got opportunity to develop our merit over merits. And now we can share these merits with uh, all living beings, particularly. We can focus to our departed relatives, friends, and family members. All our departed relatives, friends, family members, and our pets. Uh, may they rejoice these merits, rejoice in these merits. May they have wonderful, peaceful, happy life. Having that expiration, we can share merits with departed ones, saying sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. All over the world who are suffering from sick, any sicknesses, particularly with the corona uh, virus, if someone suffer, if someone is suffering, all of them rejoice in our merits. We can make wishes for them to uh, recover soon. We can make uh, wishes for them to have peaceful, happy life having that aspiration we can make blessings we can give blessings for them to have peaceful happy life say sadhu 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 all living beings be well happy and peaceful whatever the difficulties they have all their difficulties get rid by the power of this meritorious deed Whatever the wishes we have, all our wishes come true by the power of this metta and other practices. All our wishes come true. Whatever, uh, uh, finally, we all may, may be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana. Having that aspiration, we can share merits uh, ourselves. You all can join in with us to make these wishes. By means of this meritorious deed, may I never join with the foolish. May I join always with the wise until the time I attain Nibbana. Struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So to may all beings be. For the highest realms of existence to the lowest. May all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you. Good night to West. You have a wonderful day to East. Thank you. 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 Thank you.